Have you ever struggled with understanding a programming concept? Well, don't worry because you are not alone. In this video, I will share the secret to comprehending any complex technical topic. Scratch that, any topic in general. That's right, this is your foolproof method of learning anything in life. And I truly do stand by those words, because I've been in your shoes before, running circles around concepts that I could have picked up quicker and more efficiently if I just knew about this little but powerful secret earlier on in life. Okay, let's kill the suspenseful music and cut to the chase. If you didn't read the video title, this method I'm referring to is known as the Feynman Technique. The Feynman Technique's name is derived from the renowned physicist Richard Feynman, who was known for his exceptional problem-solving abilities and unique teaching style. In fact, Feynman's life and contributions to science are so fascinating that we can easily devote an entire video just on that. It's also worth noting that some of the most highly respected and intellectual minds of our time such as Bill Gates, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and Stephen Hawking all looked up to this guy and his innovative approach to science and education. And I don't know about you, but before I started researching this topic, I was completely skeptical. I was asking myself, is this technique really that effective? Can it truly help you learn topics at twice the speed? And why is Richard Feynman so special in the first place? Well, let's get into it. Before we proceed any further, let me provide you with a brief summary of Richard Feynman's background. This is important because establishing credibility is crucial in the learning process, and understanding the credentials and expertise of the person you're learning from can help you build that credibility. So who exactly was Richard Feynman? He was an American theoretical physicist known for his work in path integral formulation of quantum mechanics, the theory of quantum electrodynamics, the physics of the superfluidity of supercooled liquid helium, as well as his work in particle physics for which he proposed the parton model. Let's be honest, you only understood like half of those words. Needless to say, he was very smart. From a very young age, Dr. Feynman was passionate about learning which led him to attending MIT and eventually receiving his doctorate in physics at Princeton. One of his biggest accomplishments was the development of the atomic bomb during World War II as a part of the Manhattan Project which he heavily assisted on. He also invented the Feynman diagram that helped scientists understand more about the mysterious behavior of tiny particles that make up everything around us. And most importantly, and the reason that we're all here, is his ability to teach really complex topics like the one I mentioned above really well to his students because he used the Feynman technique, which was later named after him. All I can say is this man was certainly ahead of his time. Now that we know a bit of his backstory, what actually is the Feynman technique? Essentially it boils down to a four step process. Step one is to pick something you want to learn. If you're watching this video, it's probably safe to assume that you have passed this step. If not, then pick anything that genuinely interests you and start learning about it. Step two is to write about the concept in the most simple way possible. This step is vital in Feynman's process. Here you need to pretend as if you were trying to explain a complex subject to a 10 year old. Would you do that by saying all these big and intellectual words? No. You want to completely minimize all those words that make you sound smart and explain the concept with bare bone vocabulary. Step three is to identify any areas where your explanation falls short. In this step, you should look for shortcomings and unanswered questions in your explanation and address them. This ultimately helps you fill in the gaps in places where you may be missing knowledge. And lastly, step four is to review your explanation and simplify it further if needed. Now this wouldn't be a great video if I didn't provide you with an example of this technique, so let me give you one. Step one, as we mentioned earlier, is picking a concept you want to learn. When I was learning to code, I struggled tremendously with React State, so I'm going to use the Feynman technique to further understand this concept. Step two is to explain this concept in very simple language as if you were trying to teach it to someone without any prior experience or knowledge. So here's my first attempt at that. In React, state refers to the data that determines how a component is rendered and behaves. It's a plain JavaScript object that contains information about the component's current state, such as user input or changes in data from a database. When the state changes, React will re-render the component to reflect the updated state. Technically, that explanation is correct, but it's not simple enough. I don't think my 12-year-old brother would have any clue about what I just said. So let's try again, but even more simplified. Have you ever played with a toy that you can change, like a puzzle or a building set? React State is kind of like that. When we build a website with React, we use different building blocks called components. Each component can have its own box called state, where it keeps important information. For example, if you're filling out a form on a website, the state might hold the things you type in. 
When you change something in the state, React will automatically update what you see on the screen to show the new information, just like how you can change a puzzle or a building set to make it look different. Now, I still don't think that's perfect, but we are getting closer. Step 3 is to identify areas where your explanation falls short. After reviewing the explanation I just gave, I realized that I didn't explain how to update the state and the analogy could be better which is kind of vital if you ask me. Now this could be a lack of knowledge or I simply forgot to include it, but it's important to verify if there are gaps that need to be closed in your understanding of a concept during this step. And lastly, step four is to review your explanation and simplify it further if needed. Here is my attempt at that. Have you ever built a sandcastle or a tower with blocks? In React, we use building blocks called components to build a website. Each component can have its own special box called state, where it keeps important information. For example, if you're playing a game on a website, the state might hold your score. When you do something that changes the state, like scoring a point in a game, we use a unique tool called setState to update the state. When the state changes, React will automatically update what you see on the screen to show the new information, just like how you can add more blocks to a tower to make it taller. It's still not perfect by any means, but I would say that that is much better than the previous explanation I gave. And that's the beauty of the Feynman technique, that it does not have to be perfect your first go around. It's about simplifying the concept constantly, making it easier to grasp for you and your audience. All in all, this technique is one of the most efficient and effective ways to learn just about anything in life. But before I wrap this video up, I want to leave you with four final takeaways to remember when using the Feynman technique. Number one, simplify a concept as much as you possibly can. Remember the goal is not to sound technical, but instead to be so straightforward that even your younger siblings would understand. In fact, I recommend that you explain the concept that you're learning to people around you who have no clue what you're talking about. This will help cement the topic and ultimately help you fill the gaps. Number two, always use simple language. I can't stress this point enough. Using complex language to mimic your insecurity is the easiest way you can detect someone who isn't confident enough. Get comfortable with using words that everyone understands. Technical jargon will not get you anywhere, so stop hiding behind your words when explaining a concept because all that will do is confuse you and your audience. Number three, always remember to test your understanding. When you simplify the concept, it's vital to constantly write down different explanations in your own words. Or like we've mentioned before, try explaining it to numerous other individuals. Some questions to always ask yourself are, do I understand the underlying principles and assumptions of the concept? Can I provide examples that illustrate how the concept works? Can I identify the limitations of the concept? Number four, iterate and repeat. Researchers say that you lose up to 50% of brand new information an hour after learning it, and up to 70% within 24 hours. So this is something that you constantly have to perfect. By no means is it a one and done. If you found this video helpful, we'd love if you'd hit that like button to show your support. Even better if you leave a comment. Think I missed something? Have you used the Feynman technique to learn anything in life? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time my friends, and stay spicy.